now that you got that plunger out, we're going to go up on top of the sink. We're going to pull out the uh, the pop-up valve. Now we're going to pull the pop-up valve out and see what we got here. Ooh. Now see that stuff? That's all ugh. hair and stuff like that. If you put Drano down there, the Drano is not going to cut that. I'm sorry, it's just not going to. It's just not going to do that because it was hanging off of this. The only way to do that is to pull everything out like I was telling you before. Okay, once you get this out, you can clean this off. Just remember not to turn your water on or else it's going to go down the hole. Clean this out somewhere else. Now we can pull the pop-up valve out. You're going to have to use your fingernails or something. Pull this up. Let's see what we got under here. That's keeping this drain from draining. Ugh. Ugh. Yuckies. That's what was in there. And uh, we wouldn't have been able to, Drano wouldn't have cleaned that out because all that hair was caught on the, on the tip of this. The only way to get that out is for you to follow these steps. Okay, we're just going to wipe this off and stuff, but make sure you don't turn your uh, your faucets on because we've moved the bucket underneath there. This will just go down and hit the hit your cabinet. So make sure you clean this out at another sink. Now is the time to show you a little trick. If you have a pop-up valve, and let's say the top is not screwed on tight and uh, your water leaks out of there and stuff, or it's just loose, you don't know how to tighten it up. Well, you've got um, plastic threads here. And believe it or not, you can't tighten this up. The, uh, you can't turn it the way you would normally turn it. These are uh, reverse threads, so you have to screw it on like you're doing it backwards, and you'll tighten it up. If you don't know that, there's nothing you're ever going to do to tighten this up there. So uh, it's not going to be because the threads are stripped or anything. Just uh, tighten it up backwards and see if yours will do it. Another thing I want to show you is there's a hole at the bottom of this. That's where that little plunger goes. Okay, this is the plunger that I showed you from underneath and it fits in there and then when you pull this at the back of the sink this, go, this will pop it up and down. Now if you put it through this hole uh, if the same thing happens again you want to clean this really easy you're going to have to pull everything apart. So I wanted to show you another thing that you can do. If you want, when you put the plunger in, you can put the plunger in first, tighten it all back up underneath the sink, and, and just slip this down last. Um, then next time uh, you want to clean this, you can pop this out of the way, pull it out, pull the hair out of here. That's if you don't want to fill up the sink all the way, like you're, if you're shaving. But, uh, you know, you do have an option if, if you want to do it that way. Then you can pull this up later and clean it again without going through the whole process again. In this case though, because this is not my home, I'm going to put it back the way I found it. So I'm going to slip this through there. So uh, I'm going to have to fish it down there and make sure I get it through there. On some of these pop-up valves, they may have the name of the sink brand and faucet brand. If that bothers you, um, I mean, you can put this back in, it could be upside down. If that bothers you, make sure you flip that around so that you can read it. You can flip it around and put it in that way. I'm going to put this down there and then we're going to have to fish this through the hole at the bottom and then um, I'll come back up here and we'll pull on this a little bit. Make sure that you've got it how you want before you start tightening everything back up. I want to show you one more thing on this pop-up. Um, most of them have a little rubber gasket. It's kind of hard to see it, but there's a little rubber gasket in here. If you like to fill the sink up and not have the water drain out, um, pull this rubber gasket off, take it to the store, or take the whole pop-up for that matter. Make sure you get a nice rubber gasket, a new one, you can put it on there, and voila. At this point I got one hand above the sink, one hand underneath the sink. I want to make sure that this little uh, plunger fits in right. I'm moving it with my left hand, pull on that. As long as I can't pull it out, I know I've got it in there. I've got the right end facing the right direction. And I'm ready to get underneath the sink and tighten up that nut.